<laughs> it's going to be a wild weekend, a mild a weekend, weekend, and there's lots going on. That's right. And April Morton is here with us with some of the fun events happening around the D. I think we need to go ahead and enjoy this nice weather before it's all gone. I agree. I agree. So last weekend, it was beautiful. This weekend, pretty much the same. So mm -hmm. if you didn't get out last weekend, get out there this weekend and enjoy it because we know it's coming, right? All right, so first up, believe it or not, it's been 25 years since the 1997 Red Wing Stanley Cup Championship. There will be celebrations in honor of the 97 and 98 champs. More than 30 players, coaches, and staff from that, from that time coming back to Detroit for the festivities. And the best part, Fans will be able to get in on all the action. During tonight's game at Little Caesars Arena, there, the Wings will celebrate the 97 champs. There will be exclusive fan photo opportunities with, Stan, with the Stanley Cup. And the party continues on Saturday's game at 1 p.m. when the 98 champs will be honored. Fans are encouraged to arrive early for the games and make sure you're in your seats at least an hour before the game starts. So be at the stadium tonight by... Um, 6 p.m. and on Saturday by 12 noon. And check this out, guys. They sent over some of this cool swag that's going to be available there at the um, game. So this is some commemorative uh, merchandise that's going to be available tonight and on Saturday at um, Little Caesars Arena. So you have your vintage T-shirt from that time. How cool is that? And then they sent over this cool little hockey puck you can take for the kiddos. And look at this hoodie. You're going to need this cool soon because uh, we know that the weather is going to get kind of cold. So I'm not a big hockey fan, but I do remember this time in 97 and 98. Very exciting, yes. And it's so exciting. In Colorado downtown, Avalanche and uh, Claude Lemieux and oh, yeah. man. I, I can't name any of the players. Um, Steve, uh, Steve Eiserman. Eiserman. Yeah, so it was a really cool time. So um, this is going to be a great historical moment in the city. And if you're unable to make the games, you can also view a brand new exhibit featuring the stories of the 97 Red Wings that opens this Saturday at the Detroit Historical Museum in, in Midtown. And speaking of the past, there's a cool event happening in Livonia that's sure to spark nostalgia. It's the Detroit Retro Video Game Show. Visitors will have the chance to buy, sell, and trade all things vintage video games. The family-friendly event will feature game tournaments. Hey, that's buying television. <laughs> <laughs> I see a few things there that brings back so many memories. Also, a quiz show and uh, master Tetris classes and much more. Detroit's retro video game show happening Saturday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. at the Knights of Columbus Banquet Center in Livonia. So this is bringing back so many memories for me. Do you guys have a favorite retro video game? Not really. How no. about you? I know you do. Oh, God, yes. There's a, there was a game on Mayan television that was called Utopia. And you had okay. two island nations side by side, and you, and you would build, you'd plant crops and build hospitals and schools okay. and stuff. And then you go out in fishing boats, and there'd be schools of fish, and that's how you earn points to build the stuff on the island. Okay. You play for play that for hours. Now okay. that's, that's real old school. Okay. Yeah. So I remember the um, my favorite games on Nintendo was the Mike Tyson Punch Out. Oh yeah. Okay. Body yeah. blow, body blow, <laughs> body blow. Yeah. It took me probably a year, but I actually I knocked out Tyson. So. I um, give myself a pat on the back for that. But okay, so now to an event where you can get your workout on while supporting a great cause. It's Run of the Dead, and the funds from this 5 and 10K walk and run will benefit the Center of Music and Performing Arts in Southwest Detroit. Participants are encouraged to bring a photo of a lost loved one to honor. It's all happening Saturday at 9 a.m. Check-in is at 7 a.m. at George Patton Park in Detroit. And lastly, a fun family favorite kicks off this weekend. It's the Universe Soul Circus. Acts from all over the world will descend on Detroit, including aerialists, um, Caribbean dancers, high wire acts, horses, daredevil motorcycle acts, and much more. Be sure to wear your dancing shoes because this circus brings the party. The Universe Soul Circus starts tomorrow and runs select days through December 4th under the big tent that's across from the Aretha in Detroit. I love Universe Soul Circus. It's Have you guys a, been? It's a great circus. I've been many times. It's, it's, it's a so party, much fun. Right? It is a party. Exactly. Is. Exactly. Yeah. So, so um, I'm don't go trying to be cute. Go, go comfortable oh, no, no, so you no, can no. enjoy yourself. Sneakers, get out there. Have a good time. Yeah. All right. So that's just a few things happening around the D this weekend. Get out there and enjoy this warm weather. That's Thank right. you, April. Thanks, April. Come